Hello people. Today we're going to talk about what's in these little boxes. Kind of odd, oddly shaped, just little flat little rectangles. And before we open them, look at the texture on the cardboard. This is cardboard. Isn't that neat? It's just a strange pattern, probably a product of the manufacturing process, but Although a top layer has been ripped, you can see a layer beneath has the same pattern. It's so cool. But what do you think's in here? They're certainly old. It looks like maybe a man's watch or a woman's watch or maybe a bracelet, some jewelry or something. Maybe a razor. Can anybody guess? Oh, what's in the box? All right, well, let's look inside. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. What is it? <laughs> well, this is a pen pistol. We can get it out of the box. So this has a functioning pencil tip. <laughs> and on the other end is a firing device. And you put it on safety, and the firing pin is below the breech face. And once you get it loaded, and you pull all the way back, then you have a detonation. So how do we get a cartridge in there? Let's look and see what's in here. This is the chamber. It looks like this has certainly been used a lot. You screw it on, and the cartridge would be inside. And here's your cartridges. Now we're not gonna we're not gonna load this. Not in here. Winchester repeating arms. There it is. Winchester repeating arms. 32 Smith and Wesson. So this is a 32 Smith and Wesson cartridge, but it doesn't fire a car, uh, a, a bullet, a lead bullet, and there's no BBs inside. So this isn't a shot shell. It's a gas cartridge gun in 32 caliber, 32 Smith & Wesson. Very cool. So we'll load the chamber and see what that looks like. So that's what it would look like pointed at you. And when you get a discharge, what comes out is a dry powdered form of, um, I don't know, some kind of gas, CS gas or something. I don't know, very cool. Let's look at one of these other ones. Oop. All right, what's in here? I'm assuming this is the same thing pretty much. Oh no, it's not, it's very different. Still a pen pistol. Still the same company made under the same patents. Look at that. Patent number 17183 and 17751178. I'll have to look those up. This is a pen pistol with no pen. 
screw the chamber off. And it looks like this fits a 38 Special cartridge, which is a lot longer and wider than a 32 Smith & Wesson. And it appears this model is made of aluminum. The body of the firing device and the barrel are made of aluminum. I can only assume to uh, prohibit people from using live lead cartridges, which is not what these pen guns were meant for. These were meant for blanks and gas cartridges. So what else is we got? This one has really cool texture too. These are really neat boxes. Oh wow, look at this. So this is the same as the second one we just looked at. It's made of aluminum. It's got an aluminum body, no pen head to it, an aluminum barrel. But this is meant to fit a 410 cartridge. 410 shotgun cartridge. In a gas in a gas cartridge. My goodness, look at that. So it's on safety. You would pull it down all the way and see there you see the firing pin. And when you release, you get a detonation. So cool. This one looks used too. All right, what's in the last one? Let me guess, another pen gun. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at this. This is another true pen gun with the with the pen device. But it's another car, it's another cow. It's just like the first one we looked at in 32. Oh. That seems to be broken. Just like the other one in 32 Smith and Wesson, but this one is a 38 Smith and Wesson. And that's a western cartridge. Look at that. This one doesn't look like it's been used as much or at all. The muzzle end is very clean. I have to figure out how to fix that. Does it work? Oh, yep, it does work and it's full lead. <laughs> Just can't hold it upside down. I'll have to figure out how to how to fix that, but yeah, very cool. So this model, like the first one, is made of steel. And I would assume the aluminum body versions came next to keep from people using shotgun shells or or live lead rounds. Very neat. So these little single shot pen guns were manufactured prior to World War II by a company called Haggins Pencil or Haggins Supply Company. I'm sure they probably manufactured a lot of things. Uh, but this collection was owned by a, an OSS agent uh, fighting for the Allies, of course. And uh, he was getting old and wanted the collection to, um, you know, be preserved and, and owned by someone who would respect it. And so he gave it to a doctor and back in the 1980s, and that doctor has passed that collection on to me now. Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day. Oh, guns kill. Is that right? Well, let's see about that. Okay, gun, kill. Go ahead, kill someone. Don't be shy.